All right, there, welcome back. This is Elvis from RiftTuneUp.ca. Um, I'm gonna just go really quickly over you got with you guys with uh, a bathroom vent replacement. Okay. What we want to do is take this out because it's leaking and put this in. Okay. This has its own blow cap on it. You see that? So it's actually closed when uh, when it's not being used, and when the fan comes on, boom, it opens and allows the air to blow right through. Okay. So what I've done to save some time for you guys at home is I've prepped it already. As you guys know, I start high, I start removing nails there, there, use my knife, okay, get out what's anything like this, anything like that, okay, I want to take this one out too, and get rid of this one, and that one, like that. Do real quickly here is just uh, remove a nail here and take the this top angle too because it's already been cut. Okay. Now, so you only have to take out the two foot there. You don't have to take out the full shank. Yeah. Okay, so our new vent's ready to go in place. Okay, so before the vent goes in, what I'm going to do here is cut my foot off, because I only need two tabs. Now what you can do is the same thing again. What you can do though is maybe just do a quick little, a little mark because your, your vent is going to sit about there. Guys, this is actually, I don't think I want to do more than this. What, so what I'm going to do is just rewind here for a second. So, I actually, what I want to do is use my full shingle, okay? So I just dropped it down just a tad. Okay, now you can see how nice that fits up in there. And I'm just a little off my mark. So if we can just cut again, just up a little bit. Get that up there. You can check it one more time. That's looking good. And I'm very happy with that right there. Okay, so if you have a little gap right here, get it centered. Now for some of you guys might not know this little trick, this is a little extra. So look, I've made my cuts right here. There is a little gap up there. So if we could we could really slide our six inch right up in there. Just like that. Okay. You can do one, you can do two. I prefer to put one on each side. And then you might just have to cut your ends off a little bit there. But not only does it look a little more appealing, but it's definitely a lot more watertight. Okay? And just to top it off a little bit, my last should go here in place. Okay? The key 
key too, guys. Make sure that uh, once you get all this nailed, you go, you get your polyurethane, and you uh, pump all these tabs back down so that you never get any wind damage. seconds away here and I'll take you guys through that because I think we still have got time. Guys, watch the uh, the East Drop ceiling video that I did. How to fix those sticky seams? A little lick of the finger so the caulking doesn't stick to me. I really get it in there. Absolutely beautiful. Any nails? Bottom. I noticed a few cracks too here and there up in this wall. I'm sure it's contributing to the problem. So I just put some caulking there. Hopefully uh, all this guy's problems are solved. Okay. But uh, that's how you do it right there, guys. 